Welcome to Kraus BI. My name is Chris Wagner, and today we're going to be going into the data visualization guide on ranking. But before we head into any of that, uh, let's do a little synopsis of what we're talking about when it comes to ranking. When we're ranking information, we want to make sure that users not only see the, the rank status that they're at, but understand uh, ideally the value and the relational value of how far the, the, those people are or those products are or whatever the case, whatever we're ranking is from one another, right? When one is, you know, 15 times number two, you, you know, that that's, that's a very, that, that, that's a, that's a big difference, right? We want to make sure that it's very easy for users to see this, right? Especially think of the salesperson, right? The salesperson is out there, he's hustling, he's busting his butt, he sees himself in that num number 17 slot. He knows that, you know, if he gets into fif that 15 slot, he gets that extra bonus. So he wants to keep a close eye on where he is relative to the people in front of him, as well as the people behind him. Really important when we're doing our ranking visuals is to find ways where people can see the relative place of our right. If you're just going to be ranking a handful of items, a bar chart or a column chart can work very effectively. I am going to say that uh, ranking is going to be one of those visualizations, though, where you're often going to find yourself going into a matrix. Add in some conditional formatting so that you know people can really understand how far they need to go in order to get that next level. Let's head on down to the data visualization style guide. Okay, so again, data visualization style guide designed to be deployed out into your uh, Power BI COE. So there's a button here, let's click it and let's head over to our rankings. Now rankings, there's not a ton of visuals inside of here, which is good because you wanna make sure that when you do rankings, you keep them as simple and straightforward as possible. If you have just two, three items or a handful of items, a cluster bar chart or a cluster column chart works really well. If you actually have a large number of items that you're trying to understand the ranking for, a cluster bar chart it does actually work really well. It allows you plenty of room to have the, the name of the given item along the side, and then you could scroll. You can actually you know add in lots of values there. But many of you will find that you want to do you know more than just have a cluster bar chart, and that's where your matrix and your table comes in. It can be really helpful for this. Um, adding in, you know, uh, the value, but then going into your visual once you've selected this and uh, making sure that you have your sort order appropriately set. Uh, but do make sure that you go through and you set up your conditional formatting. Uh, I'm a huge one for data bars. Some people will use background colors. Uh, data bars is my favorite. Um, you turn that on, click on advanced controls. Come on. It'll pop up with how you want this to work. Um, you Now you can turn this on and off. What this will do is it'll turn off the, uh, the, the integers. This can be a useful way to, to make this effective for people. But um, uh, do make sure that you're putting the appropriate color for your positive bar, negative, uh, and anything, what, what axis you want uh, the information to go along. And then you can decide if you want it to right to left or left to right. Click it left to right shows that. I am fond of the right to left, not the other way around, uh, just because it makes it very, it makes it easier for people to read the, the information if it flows in a similar fashion. This is a, a real useful tip for showing the ranking of information, either in a matrix or even in a table. Uh, this can be very effective if you're doing a matrix is to allow a drill down. Uh, so you go from like maybe it's California to the counties within California, right? Or it's your product groups and then, you, you know, your, your more detailed product hierarchies. So not only do we want to include the ranking here, but there's a powerful filter here that allows you to do top end filtering by a given value. So basically what you do is you define the, the, the what dimension you want to be filtered by. You, for the filter type, you choose top N, and then you de determine if you want the top or bottom, and then the internet sales them out. And the reason why you, you, you might want to do bottoms is, or have a, 
a report that's tops and bottoms is you might want to pair up the, especially like you talk about performance or performers. Um, you might want to have your, your top performers for a given measure on top and then the bottom performers uh, below that and pair them up for mentoring. Let's leverage analytics to find ways to, to help help people. Maybe if you are in a you know the bottom 10 on a given metric, hey, a report like this could be useful because you could find out you know, who are the people you should talk to, right? Maybe I should go talk to Sarah. Sarah has a, you know, she's number one in this metric in the country. You, you know, I helped Sarah out on another project last week. Maybe she could help me out on this one. All right. Again, thank you guys very much. Love the rankings. Love what we can do inside of Power BI when it comes to uh, showing the relative placement. And this is all without any DAX, right? So there's a whole bunch of DAX you could do too, but this is just in visuals, all right? And so, hey, we're keeping it easy, right? So thank you guys. If I missed something, leave a comment down below. Let me know what visuals I missed. If you like this stuff, uh, hit that like button. Uh, turn on that subscribe. And even, you know, why not? Turn on the alarm bell. Uh, l let you know every time I post new content. Uh, it'll, like, chirp on your phone or you'll see a little pop-up. And you can be like, yeah, Chris has got new stuff. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys very much. Really appreciate it. You're truly the best. Have a great day. Peace.